finishing the spoon around the bowl is critical because there's a few things to consider. You want your bowl to be thin and graceful, but not too thin because it needs to be strong. The edges are important, especially with a, a ladle. If you don't have a smooth, well-cut edge, you'll have a dribbler on your hands. And then there's the beauty, the symmetry that you want to consider. So I do a lot of fine hand sanding, and right now I'm at about 150 grit sandpaper. And I'll work all the way down to about 400 grit, sometimes 600 grit, depending on the wood. And that way I can ensure a very smooth, very refined spoon. I'm outside in the bright sun, and I've finished sanding this new ladle. This is a mahogany that I've never worked with before. So let's see what the oil brings out. This is always the best part as far as I'm concerned. Just add a little in the bowl. Get my oil saturated rag and let's watch. What can I say? Pictures say everything. Look at this beautiful wood. Nature is the artist. We just get to enjoy it. Well, there you have it. We've made a beautiful mahogany spoon. You know, each time I make a spoon, I learn something. And I hope that you have, too. Thank you for watching.